Okay, so I know that I went a little fast in the last video when I created all the effects for login, register, and set initial user. And uh, we're gonna take a little bit of time to go a little slower this in this video because we're gonna actually just use these effects and launch some actions to to do some auth. We're also gonna change some of these um, effects to do other stuff like the catch error right now doesn't do anything. So we actually want to do something with that. So the first mistake that I I've done was um we imported the wrong action type. This actually so is supposed to come from NGRX store, which is not here. So I'm gonna do that right here. From NGRX store. And this is an action, and that'll make this type valid, the observable of action. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, right now we have our app running, and the first uh, action that we sent to the store is add error um, from our component using this.store.dispatch. Instead, we're gonna do we're gonna send in a different action. We're gonna do a login user, which takes a payload of auth DTO. So I'm gonna do a typecast auth DTO, and it should scream at us uh, if we have the wrong input. So username, username, password is gonna be password. And now we send the action of login user. But if you remember, um, we don't have any reducers to listen to login user. Instead, it's actually being done in the effects. And if it's successful, it's going to call set current user. But if it's not successful, it's right now it's silently failing, so nothing ends up happening. Our state is still null and basically nothing is achieved. So what we're gonna do is um we're gonna use another action creator here. I'm gonna do add error of the error object that's being sent back. And add error has to be imported from actions over here, the error actions. So now that when it fails, uh, we get an add error, and we can look at the state. Error is going to be all of this, and this is because I don't have the server running. So to fix that, you just open up your server directory and just do a yarn start dev here. Do 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 do. This might take a while actually. Nope. There we go. Okay, so if we just do a refresh, there's not going to be an add error. Instead, it's going to call the specific action. So of set current user, and the current user is going to be username with this token. Uh, now currently, we're not saving this token like we should. Because if we go and use um, set initial user, uh, we're gonna get the same error, and I'm gonna also add the new adder here. Add error here, and also here. So we're gonna change this to set current user uh, I think I have too many now I think this is just needs to be imported why is it screaming at us expected one arguments but got zero. Oh, wrong one set initial user wait what 
Um, do, 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 do. This is an action, so auth action. Set initial user should take nothing. There we go. And that should give us an error. Yeah, set initial user, set current user. Unless uh, we already have a token, which we're not supposed to have. Sorry, I did a little bit of too much planning, so let's refresh again. There we go, we add error. And that is because we're not saving the token. So, <laughs> um, what I was getting at is that we need to save the token, and which I did earlier on the same URL, but not on video. So, <laughs> um, in this is the wrong service. In the who am I? Or or actually the auth. Part. Um, we're gonna want to pipe a method to take the response, and I'm gonna use a merge map to do that, which we need to import from RxJS, and we're gonna take the response, um, which is the type user, I believe. And we're gonna set the token, this dot token, to user dot token. Um. Uh, all right. And of course, we have to return of user. So this will allow us to save the token and continue on the observable chain with uh, sending back the observable of the user. So that uh, should, every time we do an auth, we should save the token. So then we don't have to auth um, again. And then we can just run the who am I to get the token, which is getting this dot token which if you remember is a getter to token to get the token from local storage <clears throat> and setting the token here is using the set token okay um ba -ba 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 -ba, what do i need to do now oh right so with that merge map uh we could go back to the app component and uh, do the thing that we did earlier, which is just log in user. And it's going to be username of username, password of ah, password. And <clears throat> once the store dispatches login user and sets the current user, it should also save the token into local storage, which it does. Now, when we do a revert, uh, this to just some um, new set initial user. Uh, too many. Okay. Then the going back to the Redux Dev Tools. It'll set the initial user, looking at the token that's saved in our browser, and then that will call, or that will make the asynchronous. Uh, here we go. That will, well, no, not that one. So it, it'll call, or it'll send the action, and then this observable will listen to all of the actions of that type of set initial user which will do a merge map to call the auth service asking who am I which we will then use the map to call set current user of that specific user that comes back otherwise we'll get an error 
and we'll add it to the thing. So the current user is, of course, username and which has the ideas of these many stuff and these bookmarks, which, yeah, okay, I guess that's what I wanted back. So now we have the current user in auth. And that is um, basically how the observable works. There's also one last thing. If we get an error, um, we also want to remove the error every time we make another request. So I think I want to add it into this chain here. And we're just going to use a tap. And tap basically is the operator that just does the thing. Um, uh, without doing anything else, right? Is that right? That should be right. Um, so tap is going to let us do a new uh, remove error. And let's add that to uh, this one as well. And this one. So that every time we make a request, we are first removing any errors, if there are any. Or not. Hmm. Maybe we need to add in the dependency of the store, so I'm going to do that. Um, store, store, I think that works, right? And I'm just going to do a this.store.dispatch uh, remove error. New remove error. Let's test that out really quick. There we go. So now it removes the error before it sets the current user, which is perfect. So we can see the state tree. Uh, from the initial, initialize, then set the set initial user is called, which then removes the error, if there is any, and then sets the current user. And there we go. Cool. See the chart? Cool. I think that's all I need to go over. Um, yeah. So let's just add this in parens. This dot store dot dispatch here. And this dot store dot dispatch here as well. So every time we're going to make a effect it's going to follow this pattern. It's going to check the type before it sends the or access the service. We're going to do a tap to remove all errors. If there is an error within that service, we're going to catch it and do an add error. Other and then if it's successful, we're just going to do the the synchronous action, the one that doesn't need to go through a service. Okay, cool. Um, there's also one other thing that's mentioned. Um, if you remember from the beginning of the video, uh, when this thing is called, nothing happens because there's no reducer listening to it. Uh, what you can do is go into the reducers and you can add in, uh, what is it, loading, uh, boolean, loaded, boolean and we could add in more state false 
Error loaded. False. And in those actions, all of those, you just add a case. Auth action types dot login user. Where you're gonna return the state, but you're also gonna set loading to true and loaded to false. And the set current user, you can set this to loading false and loaded to true. And you're just gonna repeat this same pattern for each of the actions. So I'm actually gonna do that to give us more structure and control. Uh, there, true, false, and this one's gonna be register. Uh, register, and this one's gonna be set initial. And that way, you could take into account when the state is loading and do do and then it's loaded as true so you could have a little loader icon for when the user is being loaded in all right so i hope that's not too confusing um and that since we actually used the store in this video things are becoming a little more clear um in the next video since we have auth already created in the store we're gonna start creating the ui for that um using reactive forms and possibly some prime ng inputs to make things a little pretty so i'll see you in the next video